Hi, this is the Bay County Public Library. We're going to do an interactive drawing session where I want you to post your finished drawings in the comments below. Today we're going to draw a self-portrait. I'm going to step you through, but I wanted you to see my face really fast so that you can see a little bit of what the dimensions of most faces look like. Um, everyone's a little bit unique, like one of my ears is a little lower than the other one, which means your drawing could be very unique and it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you're going to start with an oval. At the middle of the oval is your eyes. The middle of your eyes and your chin is going to be your nose. The middle of your nose and your chin is going to be your mouth. The eye is going to line up with the top of the ears, and then the bottom is going to be around your nose. The oval is going to be a little varied right around your jawline, depending on what kind of face shape you have. It could be a heart shape, it could be a square shape. I'm not really sure what kind of shape mine is, but it does square off a little bit the jawline, or it can be more of a long oval. So let's get started. So all you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil to begin your drawing. You're going to start with that oval. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, some of my lines are turning out wavy right now. So that oval is going to get you started with the base of the shape. Then you're going to take your two points and you're going to kind of draw a little bit of a center spot. So kind of using your two fingers and when they meet, draw a line in the middle where that was in the oval. And these are guidelines that can be erased later. From that to the chin, you're going to do another meet. And then you're going to draw a circle, little dot, and a line. And from this line and the chin, you're going to meet together again and draw one more line. And this is a real rough start to your face. This line right here has to be divided into five different parts. So you're going to kind of have to eyeball it to make them equal parts. So in your face, there's one eye's width distance between your two eyes. So now we can draw your eye shape here. And the rest of the line will, can be erased later. And this is going to be the end of your nose. So you're going to draw your nostrils in there. It will be underneath kind of in that middle area. And around where the eye starts, you're going to draw kind of the edge of your nostrils. And a little spot below, kind of join it up so you have a bit of a nose. And if you wanted to, you could do one more line to kind of indicate where your, your nose is coming up to your eyes. Next is your lips. And you're going to do the middle line. So the middle of the eyes, you can draw another line coming straight down. And that is used as a guide. So at the end of there, that's how big your lips are, roughly. It's a little bit of an adjustment from person to person. And now you're going to draw that middle line where the lips come together. I draw it with a little bit of curve because usually it's not exact straight line and that bottom lip and the top lip do not look the same. The top lip is going to have a little bit of a, a dip in the middle. The bottom lip is more like a half moon. So it's got the curve. It looks like mine's a little lower. I probably could have given myself a little more space here, but I'm going to work with this as my, my outline. So I think this actually should come down a little bit more. And I have that square jawline, so about here I'm going to then continue it straightening it out. 
So look in the mirror while you're doing your self-portrait or what, well, even during this process and, and see what your lines in your face look like. The more accurate your drawing is, is really looking at what you're trying to draw. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is ears. And the ear will usually start where that eye line is, and then you kind of curve it down to that nose line. And it just peeks out a little bit. I usually kind of do a little bit of a line here just to show the inner ear. And around where that eye ends, you're going to have your a bit of a neck coming down. And I've got a button-up shirt, so I'm just going to kind of draw a collar. And all things can be adjusted. But I don't have any hair, so now I'm going to work on hair and as well as eyebrows and the pupils in the eye. There's a little bit of a space right here in your eye. And then your draw a circle in here. It doesn't have to be perfect and often it's not a full circle, it's kind of tucked in. So it's just a partial, so you can do a little sideline. And then you want your pupils. The light is often hitting your eyes, so your eye kind of draw an automatic two dots in here, two circles. And then I fill in with some color so that it looks like you're capturing some light. Where the nose comes up, right here is going to be where the eyebrows are. So I'm going to draw in my eyebrows. This isn't exact. If I was in front of a mirror, I'd probably be looking right in front of me and then drawing below. And you've got your eyelids. It's a bit of a circle, but a light circle on the bottom, but more on the top. You're going to do a, a half circle and then... I want to smile a little bit more. change the lips a little bit. So now I need hair and my hair kind of starts, you have a little bit of a forehead but the rest of this is all hair. Um, so that's why it looks a little bit like a cone head right now. So you're going to um, draw where your bangs are or if your hair goes straight up. Everyone's hairline is different. Um, my hair is coming down in a ponytail. And I will often do my hair where it's coming away from that original um, oval. And then you're going to draw the strands of your hair. Some of it's coming out and wispy. You can have some wisping to the side. I have an imaginary part right here that I'm visually in my head seeing where that line is and I'm working away from that part. And then I can fill it in and make it a little, little more realistic. But it's your drawing, so you have full creative control of what you want to do. Now I've made my hair look a little curly, and it's not curly, but that's okay. And then I have a ponytail, which doesn't start up here. It's kind of coming out here. shoulders are a little bit wider and then I have some buttons and you can spend the rest of your time making all those details so maybe I'll do the flowers on my shirt 
or adjust some of the lines. Maybe something doesn't quite look right and then I can bring it in and make it look a little bit more like me. Um, I can't wait to see your drawings.